you join me here in front of the Audi e-tron GT Prestige Edition. Thank you, Nathan. <laughs>explain what this car actually is this is an Audi e-tron GT with the prestige package there's three levels of this car and this is the prestige package with the performance package and the full leather interior so what the performance package adds to this is rear steering so all four tires steer it adds a blackout package so everything is blacked out on this car it adds torque vectoring uh, advanced torque vectoring on the car so really fun on the track it's got power steering plus has matte carbon fiber on the interior laser led headlights which are really cool plus all the lights do some crazy stuff my name is nathan i'm an audi brand specialist here at audi north lake um, standing in front of the brand new 2022 audi e-tron gt very very special car here at audi it's the one and only in the entire state black optics package fully loaded prestige model 526 horsepower the epa range Five, 522 it's 522 yeah we sorry. can go 526 <laughs> 522 we can horsepower it. rating epa conservative about 240 miles of range so i'm still a total fan girl of tesla <laughs> so just want to make that clear your, your thigh support i don't know okay. if it'll do it right now see there goes your thighs okay uh so that's how you do that and then everything else dual plane dual pain glass which way oh, okay there. and then it goes up and down as well now the big thing is going to be your lane assist button which is right there so that's what's going to keep you in the lane whenever you start to swerve kind of like this tesla's one? yep okay. kind of like self-driving we just don't call it that so whenever you click that real quick just so you can see it you'll get the lines down there um, that shows you that it's on. It's show me, it'll keep me in the lane. Yeah. Now, as far as this cool screen goes, your virtual cockpit screen, that's always controlled by these left steering wheel buttons. So your arrows at the top go left and right across your different menus. Um, got your radio, Bluetooth, navigation, which is super cool. Mm -hmm. And then your view button makes the gauges bigger or smaller, so you can see your whole map right there. Very cool. Um, and then just all your additional options, you just use the scroll bar to zoom in and out, go between your radio channels, all that cool stuff. Um, and then over here, got your heated steering wheel, your your um, telephone button and voice commands, and your seat and volume buttons for your radio. So if I was driving and I saw a car just slowing down, and I didn't want to, so I just take my foot off the accelerator and then. Now it's not it's not going to do it very like hard, but it will it will recharge it a little bit. So like I, if you had to like come to a stop like quick, don't do that, but it'll do it like push. subtly. Yeah. Okay. That's so. more so like if you're coming down a hill, picking up speed. Okay. That, that's more and so I just pull it towards me. Yep. Um, that's really everything in front of you as far as climate controls go. Like you saw, these buttons click up mm -hmm. and down. Um, you got your AC, temperatures, and then your fan speed right there. Okay. Um, and then this car does have the heated and cooled seats. About three levels of those, and then you just click it. And then so that's your climate controls. And then down here, you're gonna have a few different buttons. So your drive select is your different drive modes. That's where you have like your different modes. Um, and this car does have the air suspension. So depending on what mode you're in, the car will raise or lower. Um, so like if we go into dynamic mode right here, you'll see the bars probably start to flash. Or actually on the sedan you do have to be driving but that's it will go up or down depending on the mode um, next one's gonna be traction control so unless you're gonna be like launching it all the time or something you probably don't need to turn that off mm -hmm. um, this P with camera that's gonna be all your fancy parking cameras whenever you close your doors you will be able to see straight down from the top and then this 3d one super cool that's where you can drag around the car and see everything cool. I know it's not the right color but <laughs> okay. and then in the next P that's gonna be your parking assist so this car can park itself um, the big thing is there like when you hit it and you're driving it'll come up with the signals and whenever it finds a spot it'll tell you to put the car in reverse the big thing is you do have to apply the brakes yourself so okay. don't don't completely you know let the car do its thing you do have to work the brakes yourself okay. um, and then lastly the power button to turn on and off the screen you hit that power button that's going to be for your nighttime driving and stuff that way you don't have all the clarity gear shifter i'm sure you figure that out mm -hmm. um, a little funky yep. 
and then you got your, your P right there for park. Um, volume knob, all new to Audi, we've never had this before, so you just twist it for the volume. Oops, and then your, your left and right seats, you just click that. Um, and then lastly, the last thing you'll use most of the time, navigation, of course, it's gonna look like this. I do like this satellite map mm -hmm. view, or do you do like that. And then another cool thing, if you zoom all the way out, you'll see the blue circle for your current charge, as far as you can go on this current charge. Oh, That's cool. one way, so don't think you can drive there and back. So we just got out of finance here at Audi, and this beautiful car is ours. Look how beautiful this car is. One of the first ones here in North Carolina. Nathan, our sales guy, is going to go over quite a few things with us. We were able to go through a lot already. Quite a bit different than the whole Tesla thing as far as your delivery and how things go. They're very busy here. The treatment that you get here is a little bit different. It's not a five minute delivery. It's actually a full delivery and looks like here they are. So Karen's new car, you excited? I am so excited to get in this car and see what it can do. I'm excited because it's a different experience because we've been having, we've had Teslas since 2017. Yeah. And now this is gonna be a whole, it's, it feels, it feels exciting again. I mean, I'm not saying Tesla's not exciting, but it feels new. And the excitement that it was when we first got our Teslas, when we first, the Model 3 first came out, this is gonna be, uh, exciting new chapter and uh, confusing chapter at first because a lot more to learn this thing has a lot more features in it as far as like the massaging seats those are gonna be great uh, there's like seven settings or five settings I can change the color in the car anything I want there's so many customizations you can do to it Tesla is great for the auto everything you don't have to touch anything there's one giant screen for everything uh, this is just more customizable so I'm still a total fan girl of Tesla <laughs> so just want to make that clear but it is super exciting to expand our electric vehicle experiences so yeah. I, I want to see what this car can do and can do some comparisons and and really understand because I am naive to think that there's not good products out there and so we owe it to everybody and well, ourselves to try we also want to see how Tesla has pushed these other car makers to mm -hmm. do better, to yeah, do exactly. to make a better electric car. Yes, this is pretty much a Porsche Taycan, but it's it's Audi's version of it. It's not totally a Porsche, so it's got better, it's more comfortable. It's got more of a touring car, because this is a GT car that's grand touring. So it's got that instead of a track uh, focus like the Porsche does. We want to take this on trips. This thing can charge really good, but is it faster than a Tesla? I mean, not quick wise. Tesla is great with power and uh, range and everything, but uh, we want to test all that stuff out and bring it to you guys and have fun in the process and look really good too. There's my car. You can buy online, but there's a whole lounge up here. All sorts of stuff. Plus this dealership's really nice. The experience you get here is really nice. They really cater to their customers and uh, they're letting me film whatever I want to, which is really cool. Um, they kind of let me have free reign of everything. There's a charger right over here. That's, this is where we first saw the car. And I'll, I'll go into detail why we picked this car, why we didn't get the Tesla Model S Plaid. We still have the reservation. I'll get into all that stuff. So subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, if you're an Audi driver, uh, subscribe because I'm going to be showing you all the uh, different features of this car, all the settings of it, charging speeds, where to charge, how to charge, all that kind of stuff. It's a lot like a regular Audi e-tron, but quite a bit different. It charges really fast for a very long time. This is a charging monster. It does make noise. Look at that tight turning radius. All wheel steering. That wheel obviously turns all the way and this is just in just enough to make the car turn that much sharper. And then on the highway, when you're going at, at speed, they'll all move to, make, to move you over in lanes. Look how tight that is. It's ridiculous. 